Y'all check this out. So everybody already knows what we're going through, what we're going to talk about. Let's start off when, in the United States alone, black people in the slavery, right? 1619, Jamestown, Virginia. Okay? Now let's talk about Mexicans. How long they've been getting discriminated in the U.S.? Since 1865. Okay? We're in 2020. And this stuff is still happening. Now me personally, I'm not saying rioting, looting, all that makes sense. But killing somebody for selling CDs at a gas station don't make sense. Using excessive force when somebody is arrested. They cannot move. They're apprehended. They got cuffs on them. Four officers on one person who's already in cuffs. Doesn't make sense. Pulling someone over just because they're in a low rider. Not speeding, not going too slow. Just because they're Mexican, they're brown. Doesn't make sense. So y'all help me make it make sense. Because yeah, I agree. Looting, rioting your own community makes no sense. But shooting innocent black people, innocent people of color, doesn't make sense either. You can only poke the bear so many times before the bear goes wild, before things turn into chaos. And when things turn into chaos, as you can see, there's no control, right? Because when people unite and agree to terms on whatever they believe in, you can't stop them. The police unit can only do so much. State patrol unit can only do so much. That's why they're calling in the military on our own people. Oh, let's pit, let's protest peacefully. We tried that. Everybody remember Martin Luther King, right? Assassinated. One of the most peaceful protests in the United States. Colin Kaepernick, modern day peaceful protest. Kneeling to show respect for all black people and minorities in this country. He came out and lied and said that on national TV on why he knelt. Still. Nobody liked that. Or let me let me rephrase that. I'm not going to say nobody liked that. I'm going to say majority people who are just racist didn't like that. I'm not gonna, just going to say white people, even though it's a good majority of them. But you do have racist black people against their own kind as well, who did not like what Kaepernick did. What Kaepernick did was equality for all minorities who are getting <clears throat> acquitted for things that are not, you know, the the right crime is what I'm trying to say. And I'm, <clears throat> it's early right now, so I'm not even sure if I even use that word correctly. But there's so much inequality going on. And that's why Colin Kaepernick, LeBron James, people in sports are using their voice to get the point across. That what is happening has been happening for far too long. It's been happening. It needs to stop. It needs to stop. And they need to begin starting with the police. Not even just race. They need to begin with starting with the police. Police are using their power and getting away with too much things that is not within the law. Now within the system. They're using excessive force. They're getting hand slapped. And even in Minnesota alone, we saw that the black man from last year, who was a police officer, shot a white woman. 12 years in prison. Quick. We see what happened to George Floyd. They got him within four days, but they got him on third degree manslaughter, which video evidence proves it was first degree. So, from what they say, the case is still going, so we'll see what happens. 
But at the same time, for everybody who doesn't understand, now I'm talking about the people who are not black, who are not a person of color. It's like seeing fire, but never knowing what it feels like because you never touched it. That's the best way I could think of it. Because people of color, no matter what race you are, you live a certain life because of the color of your skin. And you can tell your white friends how it feels all day, every day, but at the end of the day, you know, just like I know, there's not enough words to express how it is to be black in America. You can write books on it all day for someone to read and get their own perspective on it. But there's not enough words to explain how you actually feel and what you're actually going through being a different race other than white in America. I'm biracial, black and Mexican. So I can't choose either side to get away from this. The majority of the country does not like either black or Mexican. They trying to deport Mexicans, send them back home. They trying to tell people go back to Africa. So where do I fall? Whatever they see me fit best. Some people say I look all black, so I'm going to Africa, I guess. So it's just a horrible time that we're living in right now. All I can say is riots are going to happen. As we know, um, not one person is just going to stop riots. Um, do what you can to stay safe during this time. Because it's just going to get more crazy and more crazy, man. I'm not condoning anybody to be a part of riots. But I do personally understand the frustration of everyone's pain and what they're going through because just because George Floyd he may not be related to me he may be but regardless it still hurts to see stuff like that happen it's not fair it does need to stop and people on Facebook I keep seeing that other people my friends, y'all are getting mad because people are deleting y'all off Facebook because you feel that there's a different way to protest. Okay? What are you mad for? Instead of crying on Facebook, how about you look at the positive and realize that people that are deleting you because of what you believe in are doing you a service. They're taking out the negativity from your life. It doesn't matter who they are, whether they're family, close friends, or not even really friends. You just got them on Facebook. It doesn't matter who they are. The fact that they delete themselves because of what you believe and feel is right, no matter what it is. They were the negativity and you didn't even know it. You didn't even realize it. You thought they were positive. That's why you tripping mad because they deleted themselves. When people remove themselves from whatever you be posting on Facebook. And they call you a racist. They call you all kinds of names. You're doing something right. A lot of, If a lot of people don't like you. And a little bit do. You're doing something right. Because you're being yourself. At the end of the day. And that's why they don't like you. So y'all stay safe out there. Like I said. Because. When these riots are getting crazy. They can happen anywhere. At any time. And wherever you live, you know, you can't control riots, so they might catch stuff on fire. Even your homes, your apartment. So just be safe. Love everybody. It's a piece of cake, a pretty cake.